Good evening. I, on behalf of Jono family, Aap or Hum, Guftugu, is Guftugu Me. We have with us Colonel V.D. Singh. As in a show, Colonel V.D. Singh has been, has won many hats. He's been in the army. He is from Lucknow. He grew up there. Music is his passion. He was with a group called Sparks and he used to play bass guitar. Later on, he carried on his journey with the army. And uh, music was always there with him. And after that, he, he after his superannuation, he came out. He carried on with it. He is now settled at in Ambala. And he is working on it. He has a studio. Called, he has a studio where he is actually working on jazz, retro. He performs all across, all wide. He has won many an accolades as in Jodhpur Film Festival, as in many an events all around. He is very passionate about it. So today, what we are going to talk about is, it is, it is a conversation, it is a dialogue with him about his passion, about his aspirations, about what is it that uh, drives him and uh, what is it that keeps him alive at this age and what is it that moves him. It is about the way he goes about life, about music. That's about him. So I leave the floor to Colonel Vidi saying, I would, I would, I would ask him to please come in. Aap se ye guzarish hai ki aap aaye and you, you enlighten us, enthrall us with your stories, the journey that you had taken all across, all through, over the years. And, and your wonderful stuff, your creations that you are engaged in right now at this age. Thank you very much, uh, Kastubda. Uh, at this very moment, uh, <clears throat> I'm interacting with all of you, uh, not through the gadgets of my studio, although I'm <laughs> sitting uh, in my studio. Uh, but this being purely uh, a conversation. Yes. I, I actually grew up with music, uh, you know, in simple terms. And uh, uh, even during school times, I, as far as I remember, when I was seven or eight years old, I used to play harmonica. Uh, oh, some wow. people call it uh, mouth organ also. No, no, it's harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> So that is that is the age I started off. My father uh, always encouraged me. Uh, so did my mother. Uh, uh, so he got me uh, a side drum, uh, uh, which we also call cattle. Yes. I in fact started playing cattle with the you know marching uh, kind of a beat. Yeah. Kind of a thing. At at the age of seven or eight years. And my mother was very fond of uh, music, uh, though she never got a platform to perform. Uh, but she, she, she had a beautiful imported harmonium, uh, which was fitted with German reeds, which was presented to my mother by my Nanaji, seeing yeah. her passion for music. Oh, yeah. uh, so the first time I, uh, you know, uh, tried playing harmonium was when I was just about one year. That is what it was conveyed to me by my mother because I don't remember that. And uh, one year, a, uh, a child is yeah, a child is generally trying to crawl and things like that. But my my focus, since I I, I think I inherited music from my mother, so it, it was a DNA transfer in me from my mother. So 
so that's how the uh, you know the the humble journey started from that stage onward yes. and uh, in the school uh, days uh, I, i didn't restrict myself to just uh, you know playing uh, mouth organ and things like that uh, whichever instrument i could find out i i you know i i used to try and uh, i didn't realize that by the time i was in class 12th i was already playing uh, you know five or six different instruments including spanish guitar so my uh, yeah so my uh, professional journey you can say when i started playing for uh-huh. doordarshan uh-huh. uh, lucknow doordarshan and lucknow all india radio okay. was when i was in class 12th and uh, i was a graded artist uh, okay. there are, if, yeah, if, so there are two you, grades a if, a grade and b grade so yes. I so I had a humble start of uh, you know starting off with the B grade artist. Uh, they used to call me uh, to to accompany various artists artists of repute at that time. And by the time I finished my class twelfth, I had formed a, a band of boys. They were seven boys, uh, you know, all all talented and all self trained. Uh, I I never received any formal training in music. and that's the time uh, 1980 when i uh, when i started playing bass guitar no there was no academy to, to teach uh, yeah uh, so uh, uh, so i used to sort of watch others you know uh, lucknow being a, a city of uh, music and culture and dance and art and all that so uh, you know i used to uh, just watch people play various instruments so i started uh, then i that, so there was that smooth transition from being a guitar player to bass player B- bass guitar is little more tricky and it it forms a very very strong bond uh, you know between uh, the uh, orchestra between the drum the drums being played and the bass guitar so bass guitarist has to be in uh, perfect uh, coordination with the drummer If, all all the all musicians uh, appreciate this yes, without yes, a bass yes, guitar yes. without a bass guitar uh, you know any band uh, it it sounds Absolutely. hollow i'm sorry i so, just so uh, no not at all not at all yeah. so uh, there are uh, local bands even now in various cities where uh, they don't have bass guitarists because there are not too many bass guitarists you right. will find number of guitarists right. and uh, so let me break this myth a bass guitar has got four strings Four Now strings. bass guitar, bass guitars uh, are there with five and six strings also. So uh, the the chap who inspires me the most, uh, as far as uh, uh, the music goes on, is uh, Nathan oh. East. Nathan okay. East uh, is a baldy like me mm-hmm. from America, mm-hmm. and uh, he is the one who played in almost all the recordings of MJ, that is uh, oh. Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, you you name any big artist uh, he hires the yeah. services of yeah. nathanees aapne bhi kuch kiye hai kuch kam nahi apne dam pe aapne kuch khada kiye theek hai to aap mein bhi kuch to aisi kuch hai ki at the back of your mind that what is it that with the studio of yours where would you like to you know take things up is it a kind of a platform you're offering where people come in and use it and move ahead is it something of a place where you know jaise ki wo ek tarike se ek gharana jaise wo log aaye hain wahan pe they groom themselves you are the one you would be grooming them it's your studio and you would take them forward and you will help them reach their uh, up to their goals that is one or 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 is it something it goes hand in hand that this is a place you are going to create music which is something quite different and you are going to you are going to go about it taking in all around you up uh, if you if you if you could if you could uh talk about your 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 labor of love that is the studio that you have created i was never away from the music music was never away from me 
Even during my long journey of 30 years in the army, music was always with me. My guitar traveled with me even at the heights of 12,000 feet and 13,000 feet, wherever I lived. Fantastic. It has Fantastic. nothing to do. It has nothing to do with my military service, which is a very, very hard uh, way of living. Everyone knows the army way of uh, yes, the yes. life. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, so music is something which has been an integral part of my life. Uh, every time, uh, you know, I got even uh, 30 minutes or so, uh, you know, I used to just strum something, not ex not practice. Because I'm, I'm a self-taught musician. Uh, I have never been into that, you know, regular practice, just uh, what you say to Riyaz. I haven't done that. I am always thankful to my, to uh, Almighty and my mother, uh, from whom I inherited this uh, talent. However, uh, my long journey uh, in music, uh, when I talk about uh, starting uh, my own studio, which is called Padarth Studio, Padarth itself is a, is a very, uh, you know, some people find it very funny. Why Padarth? Why this name? Padarth means substance. Yes. And I always say that music has substance. That's why it's Padarth Studio. Absolutely. Absolutely. They, so, they, 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 they can't be, I'm sorry, they can't be anything for you. Padarth is the basic. Correct. Substance. You, so, you Huh, please. Uh, I uh, so I, I I have been jamming with uh, many many uh, groups outside, uh, but in 2009 when I was posted in Delhi uh, in Ministry mm -hmm. of Defense, uh, okay. this idea came into my mind uh, because by that time I was uh, well versed with the technology. I am talking about audio visual technology um, right. and the el electronics right. associated right. with right. it. Right. Be, being a technical person myself. Right. Right. So, so one fine day, I just thought of launching uh, a, a kind of online uh, studio because uh, the studio is not static for me. Owing to the oh, nature yeah. of, my, of my, of my uh, you know, military life, uh -huh. uh, you know, we have to move after every two years or three years from place to True. place. True. So there cannot be a static uh, place permanently, uh, you know, True. designated as my studio. So studio was something which was there conceptual. Uh -huh. I had all the, uh, yeah, I, I started purchasing small, small uh, gadgets and things like that and started integrating them. And it used to move with me wherever I went. Right. Finally, 2017, uh, once I super my last place was Ladakh, which inspired me to get into Tibetan music also. Oh, and okay. uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so this is true. In this studio, I have done things which are uh, which have got restricted application. It is not like Mahbub Studio or some big studios which are there in Mumbai or uh, Sector uh, 16 Film City, in Noida. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very humble setup, uh, primarily to fulfill my own passion. Yes, the commercial angle is that I have been creating background music for documentaries and short films, voiceover for various types of documentaries, including the army documentary, which generally doesn't come in the public domain. And uh, uh, I do my own shows also, uh, once or twice right. in a year, right. basically to, right. yeah. Uh, right. So, uh, so, so when I, when I, when I provide my services, these mm -hmm. services are not in terms of, you know, letting somebody come and sing. I don't have that kind of a facility. My facility is in my studio. Huh? Somebody wants to do a voiceover in my voice. Right. Script comes to me. I read out the script. And then I, I send that audio file uh, to the customer. Okay. Wherever, he, wherever okay. he wants to embed that. Number two, <laughs> I create background music for various types of short films or documentary movies okay. so for and and i i'm the only one uh, the one man army i play all instruments i've got uh, okay. wherewithal yeah yeah so i don't really yes. have to sort of you know uh, in, invite a group of musicians uh, to my wow. studio to play i do everything okay. by myself which gives me a lot of confidence because i know what i am doing so the kind of yes. clients i look for are 
people who are interested in uh, voice over in english hindi and urdu uh, since i come from uh, lucknow oh, uh, yes. my my diction in urdu is fairly good though i cannot read urdu script but i know <coughs> about this okay. so hindi english and Wonderful. urdu yeah Wonderful. yeah i, I do Wonderful. and uh, creation of music means it, it starts from uh, a, a, a short uh, kind of a musical um a, a, a musical recording with my own guitar and my own uh, synthesizer yeah. and things like that mm-hmm. uh, which which may start from you know a few seconds and it may go up to 30 minutes or 35 minutes so uh, so the, the money associated with that is uh, in proportion to that okay. so i create background music i, I do voiceovers it. Uh, so these are the prim- primary things which i do from my own okay. and i'm also okay. composer i also compose music Okay, so going by what you have uh, said. Just, just one second, just one second. Huh. Dada, at this juncture, if I can again come in. Please. Uh, mm-hmm. You have very nicely put, crisply put, what services you can provide via Padar Studio okay. and what services you cover or you undertake in voiceover. Correct. You have also explained very nicely in a very focused way what yeah. kind of market or client that you uh, target or you look for. True. So these point very well taken care of. Okay. Now coming to the third point, which is in your personal opinion, hmm. how do you find in which way Zana family can help your aspirational growth. Absolutely right. Zena family is a global family. I mean, there are a number of ways and means by which uh, uh, they can help my business grow. By getting me, the clients who are looking for voiceovers for their uh, launch of products or services, or somebody who has made uh, uh, you know, a, a documentary or a short film or something, somebody is looking for background score. When I say background score, it means the background music, right. the instrumental background music. Right. And I must, I must mention over here with a lot of pride that I was the proud recipient of a, a award which was given to me during uh, Jodhpur International Film Festival 2020 yes. in yes. J- January 20. Yes, yes, yes. So, so that's been a four year uh, back. And uh, so the film was made in Australia. The producer uh, had uh, interacted with me. He sa- he sent frames to me. When I say frames means the raw cuts of movie. And I created music based on that. It was a 30 minute movie. I created background score and, uh, and that oh, movie was, uh, yeah. So there was, uh, it was a very, very successful project. Okay. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, Colonel Saab, please sum it up. We have had a wonderful session. Hum or aap, ek guftugu, we had a wonderful session. Please do sum it up. And uh, there'll be much more ahead. So, aaj ke liye, is sham, please do come in, sum it up. And uh, it's been wonderful. Please. Thank you. Uh, my musical journey uh, has also found, uh, you know, few places where I could actually showcase my talent. So in that, the first thing is my own channel on YouTube. It's my own video channel called VD Sing 8. VD Sing, my name, and figure 8, VD Sing 8. Anyone can go there and uh, find out. There are hundreds of videos created by me. Uh, and since my uh, interest has been primarily into jazz and retro, uh, I have uh, recreated most of the famous old songs, English and Hindi, uh, in my own voice and by actually playing the instrument. So that uh, establishes uh, a credibility. It's not just a lip service. One can always find out what quality uh, kind of a thing has been produced over there. 
secondly zena world has already given me a very huge platform there are dozens of voice overs uh, in my voice for uh, various sessions of uh, zena so if one has to find out who is this character colonel vd singh uh, you know who 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 claims <laughs> to be a music maker and a music engineer as well uh, one can always find out uh, from this thing and if you google my name colonel vd singh uh, I, i'm sure you will find me at many many places uh, in you know not just the singing part uh, but uh, my own compositions and um, the movie for which uh, i was awarded so many details are there uh, on on the net and uh, i just want to sum it up by saying that music uh, has always been uh, you know it's it's like a uh, it's like blood flowing under my skin and it will be with me and i'll be very happy to to do something for the society before uh, before i leave the world that's what i want to say right. i'm looking up wahan tak main pahunche kids